Good morning, traders. Can you hear me and see my screen? This is Bruce at Velox Pro. Nope, can't hear me. Carl, you got to be you got to be kidding me. <laughs> okay. Hey, I I got to do it every day. Um, if uh, if I don't, um, then uh, there's been times that I've talked talking to myself for five or ten minutes, and then someone. Uh, uh, in the question says, are, are you, are you speaking? And, um, so, uh, I just get in the habit of, uh, of always asking first. Um, and then we can move forward. All right. Um, <laughs> okay. No, no, I, I, that was funny. That was funny. Um, all right. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's jump in and, um, uh, get going here. So it's Friday. We had a big week. Um, uh, a lot of data, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, well, data and just uh, fundamentals, um, you know, with uh, the uh, FOMC and uh, starting to understand um, uh, how things are going to unfold in this uh, raising of uh, interest rates environment. Um, okay, so learning at order flow with Bookmap. Um, let's go through the risk disclaimer trading futures and uh, well, no, just trading futures involves substantial risk of loss is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, go to bookmap.com for more info. Uh, become a member there and you have access to the free resources and then um, uh, support at VeloxPro with any uh, comments, questions, or, or issues. Uh, if you want to try Bookmap, this is where you can find it. It's under the pricing tab. There's the basic and advanced version. The, the real difference between the two uh, is the um, uh, these add-on features here, uh, especially the one-click trading, uh, being able to trade from the chart. Uh, and you get a 14-day trial, all right? So uh, try it out for 14 days, see if you if you like it, uh, if it works for you. If not, uh, just let us know and we'll cancel the uh, the trial. Uh, Quants and prop shops, prop shops can reach out to us here. Uh, and let me just show you where the recorded webinars are. Uh, you can go to the YouTube page or you can go through the portal here uh, when you log in and, uh, and all your account information is here. Um, let me go over the register for webinar uh, because next week we're having a, a special event. We're having uh, all, all week long uh, uh, professional traders will present their um, methodologies for trading. So don't want to miss that. Just click on that link, this blue button. And that'll take you to this page here. And then from the drop down, select uh, Bookmap uh, Pro Traders webinar, and uh, you'll be all set up. Okay, and just register. Uh, all the educational information, uh, recorded webinars, and videos are under this education tab. Uh, you can view the recorded webinars here. And there's also these video snippets. Just uh, click on the link, uh, open it up, and then click on this link here for the playlist it'll take you to the YouTube page all of the um, this, you'll need to scroll to the top for the moment uh, this is yesterday's and then Wednesday's etc okay. but I also want to show these video snippets so click on this link here open that up and then click for the playlist and that'll take you to this page and we just have a new a new a few uh, new ones here uh, just uploaded the uh, last couple days. We can look at the uh, ES uh, price breakdown and rejection that we covered, I think, on Monday or Tuesday. I think Monday. And then this is from uh, yesterday, okay, looking at the CL and looking at the uh, rollover uh, order uh, order flow shift in the in the rollover that we covered yesterday, right? Okay, so uh, watch as many of these as you can. There's 79 of them now. Um, and these are very concise videos that just go through uh, the order flow uh, that we go through during these webinars. So if you can digest the information in these, it's a lot quicker than, than watching the entire uh, webinar. Okay, okay let's uh, jump in here, and uh, we're going to look at the mic microstructure, uh, but integrating, integrating that with the macrostructure, okay, and looking at the order flow. Uh, so first, look at our higher time frames of interest, regardless of how you trade. Uh, then we're going to objectively understand the microstructure. We're going to go through a process, uh, understand the order flow, 
And obviously scalpers will be looking at just primarily at this microstructure and much less at the higher time frames. Uh, and we're, that'll allow us to pinpoint the entries, exits in the trade management. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, let's take a look at some of these markets. What do we find interesting? We've been covering oil. Um, bonds looks pretty interesting coming up into this area here. But uh, yeah, let's let's uh, let's look at the ES. Uh, it's Friday, um, and uh, yeah, let's just we'll just look at the ES because. Uh, uh, coming up into this 75 uh, area, 75 and a quarter, and I want to see if we're accepting or rejecting uh, in that area. So we'll look at the higher time frames here. We'll just look at a 30-minute chart. Okay, we can see the breakout to the upside, FOMC, uh, and then we've been accepting uh, for the last few days up here. All right, so uh, you can see them buying in these little areas here. And we're we're just we just retested that area in the last half hour as well, right? And we can see that buyers are are still lining up here. We're getting wicks on these uh, 30 minute uh, candlesticks. And let's look at a five minute chart. And what does this look like? Okay, you can see the 9:30 open here, right here at this candle, and uh, immediate move to the downside, and uh, that has continued. Uh, we're just starting to see the buyers come in now, though. All right, so uh, this area is of interest. All right, so down to mm, yeah, right, right around where these wicks are, around uh, 74 and a half. I'm interested, uh, and and uh, absolutely. Let's just bring this up a little bit more. To the uh, the swing here. Uh, around 74, 73 and a half. Okay, so uh, we got that area of interest, and um, on this five-minute chart, what else do we see? Let's zoom in a little bit. Not too much. Uh, kind of interested here. This is where we broke down from. There's going to be some volume profile in this area somewhere. It's a little messy, a little choppy, uh, 76, 77 area. Uh, so uh, let's take a look at book map around 74 to 77. Okay, and look at the order flow. Okay, we uh, we did jump into the new K contract in oil. Uh, all right, let's uh, zoom out here and take a look. Okay, so this is what uh, it looks like in in a um, cash session. We can see the uh, trending market to the downside here. All right, this is very indicative of a trending market. Okay, I'm going to draw a trend line in. Okay. As we continue to look at the structure here in Bookmap, and then we'll get to the three questions and starting to understand some of these levels of our interest. All right, 74 was a level of interest. Uh, we can see why. Uh, there's high liquidity now here as well. So uh, that uh, uh, immediately pops out into the uh, Bookmap chart. Uh, and um, the trending environment. All right, we've, we've covered this uh, many times over. Uh, we can see the cash open here. There was a, a drive to the upside just pre-market and then the cash open was here. Uh, and you can see we've just uh, sold off the entire time. All right. Uh, where have the transactions taken place? Okay. In, in a trend, the way that the order flow operates for the most part is you see clusters of volume trading at lower lows. When you get the retest back up into uh, where it dropped from, you usually see a lot less volume okay, on these points here. All right? Now there's a little bit of volume, uh, but it's, it usually looks more like this here. You see very little volume trading up here. The market basically exhausts out and you get a rotation lower uh, to, for price discovery to the, to the, um, to the downside. Okay? Because it can trade down here, it traded here before, uh, it did not trade up here. There was exhaustion. Uh, therefore, you get that rotation down, and usually you get further discovery to the downside. Okay, and that's why it will trend like this. Okay, that will give you. Now we're not usually. Uh, you'll see the uh, the profiles. You see, it's kind of um, muddled here. Uh, you'll see very clear um, uh, volume profiles of uh, distribution, low volume node. Another big distribution of volume, low volume node, followed by another big distribution, uh, et cetera. Uh, we're not really seeing that here. It's, it's just kind of one big ugly uh, profile here. Uh, but uh, we, we obviously are, are trending. 
okay, to the downside, All right? And um, we're holding that structure, okay? We haven't broken, we're still making lower highs and we're making lower lows. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm also interested in another area right here because this is where we broke from right here and we've tested it a few times now. Okay. And uh, how how is price uh, behaving up in this area here? Okay. Well, look at the volume that's trading up in these, this little area right here. Very little. Right. Uh, starting to see a bit of a bit of a shift though. Uh, in the order flow, uh, look at the transactions that traded here. Very few, right? We're looking for bigger clusters of volume, right? Uh, and we we more more indicative of this kind of action here, right? Usually you'll see that with high liquidity uh, in that trending environment. So let's let's go let's cover that, all right? Look at where the high liquidity is in in Bookmap uh, in a trending environment. It's always at it's usually at the lower lows, okay? Uh, and um, at look at the liquidity here on the retracements back up into these areas. This is where you get that exhaustion, okay? And look at how dark it is up in these areas here, okay? Very, very clear, uh, you know? Uh, we, we've covered this for, for years now, uh, talking about the um, kind of shadow effect uh, that you're getting here on the opposite side of the uh, of this downtrend. Okay, all right, and um, okay, so now we're starting to test the the, uh, the structure here. Okay, and we're we're starting to note that. All right, we, first off, higher time frame, seventy four was of interest. Okay, uh, and then we started to look at the order flow, and we started with the transactions, uh, basically, and no, noting noting that these uh, transactions here, we're looking for more volume to trade at these lower lows. And we did get this push through here, uh, but this is uh, starting to see, you know, and also in this area here, not not seeing a lot of volume trading at these at these lower areas, these little areas in here, right? Uh, and um, uh, so maybe we're starting to see a, a bit of a, a shift. Okay, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on this. So, so we just tested structure, uh, and we've sold right back down into uh, into the range. Okay. All right. So that was a quick. Uh, analysis, but let's go back to the uh, presentation, uh, and um, so we get in our three uh, questions here. We're showing up to the auction, showing up to the market, and we want to understand what's going on in that marketplace, okay? and how do we do that? All right, we're going to ask three questions, and uh, and then we're going to answer these. Uh, understand the current configuration of the book. What does that mean? Uh, understand where the majority players are. Where are they lined up to trade? Okay, and uh, we can answer that by looking at the heat map and book map. Okay, they're here at 74. Okay, they were here uh, earlier at uh, 75, and they traded. Okay, we can see the the, the liquidity and then the the massive uh, amount of uh, trading that uh, took place here. Okay, where are they on the offer? Well, we're starting to see a little bit of activity here uh, at uh, 76 and three quarters. Okay, they're starting to pop into the book. All right. And interestingly enough, if price structure is starting to break, where are they providing liquidity? Right above this price structure. Where, where are traders going to place their stops? If they move their stop and trail their stop down, usually they'll place them in these little areas behind uh, the swings. Okay, well, someone is going to provide liquidity there and is, is happy to get filled in that area. Okay, all right, uh, let's move on. All right, so we went through the current configuration of the book. Uh, how do these participants behave when price approaches them? This will gauge the intent of these traders. Uh, with providing providing that high liquidity. We start to understand their behavior, and we start to understand if they, they mean business, if they want to stay in the book and, and trade, uh, and um, uh, or if they pull that liquidity and uh, uh, pull it to lower levels. And we're not talking about just one price level here. We're going to talk about several price levels. It's contextual here, okay? Uh, we're looking at um, uh, how they're behaving in an area. 
uh, and uh, looking at more market participants and then and their behavior okay so for example okay let's just take a look at current price we're seeing some interesting stuff okay and we've been we've been reading it very objectively from the get-go okay starting to note that perhaps we're going to see start to see a shift here okay look at 75 and a quarter okay? high liquidity here on the uh, uh, and a very aggressive liquidity here on the um, on the bid okay uh, they um, they were here down at 74 uh, and uh, we didn't uh, trade into that area and now they're they're bidding up at a higher level and okay, that's pretty pretty bullish okay what about these guys here on the offer how's their behavior at the moment okay well they're 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 adding in too um, around this uh, 76 and three quarters so uh, right now we're going to kind of channel between these areas until someone uh, starts to add or pull or they aggressively start to uh, uh, hit the bid or or lift the offer. Okay, and uh, we'll we'll watch. All right, uh, but uh, let's go back and uh, and cover the. Um, whoops. All right. So understand how these partic uh, participants behave at the levels, but also understand where the transactions have taken place. Okay, that's reading the tape. All right, so let's uh, let's do that. All right, so we, we read the transactions earlier, uh, going over that trending environment uh, to the downside, what that looks like, uh, and that now we're looking for a shift, though, right? Okay, we're seeing the structure starting to break again. We need to see price come up into this 76 and three quarters trade and accept uh, above that area. Okay, that's what we want to see. Okay, if we're gonna if we're gonna get a um, uh, a change here uh, in the uh, in the order flow, uh, we want to look at uh, the price structure being broken, and then we want to look at the order flow, the the auction, and these transactions and where they're taking place. If we come up into this area here uh, at 76 and a quarter or 76 and a half, and there's no aggressive buying, like we're kind of witnessing right now. Okay, look at this little, these little areas here and here and here. Okay, uh, well, price is going to rotate lower to find liquidity uh, and, and where it can trade. Okay, and it can trade down in this area. Okay, it already has traded quite a bit. Right, so uh, maybe we'll get a retest into maybe uh, 75 again here. Right, okay. All right. Another aspect to uh, cover as well in this trending environment: How are they behaving in the auction? Okay, this is this is bearish. Uh, you know, they're providing high liquidity here, right? In this, in some of these areas back at uh, between 10 and 10:15. 10, uh, but um, what about what about the areas around it? Are they bidding up? Are they providing liquidity at a higher level, a tick, a tick higher, or a tick or two higher? No, they're not. They're providing liquidity lower, okay. And uh, and then they pull some of that liquidity, and then they're adding. You can see they pull liquidity here. Let's just zoom into that area, okay. They pull liquidity here. They're starting to pull liquidity in these areas here. At the same moment, it's getting a little bit brighter down below here, okay, at 75 and a half, okay. So they're pulling from these areas and adding lower, and that's bearish, right? Uh, and um, we want to see how we want to see aggressive behavior, uh, the difference between passive and aggressive liquidity. Uh, this is aggressive liquidity here at this 75 and a quarter. Okay, they were bidding up at a higher level here. Okay, like a, a point and a half higher than where they were previously. Okay. Okay, uh, a few questions. Um, yeah, Homera, I'll, I'll follow up with you uh, later. Uh, yeah, send an email to Veloxpro, um, support at veloxpro.com. And that would be great. Okay, all right, here we're getting our rotation back up. Now we're looking like we're, we're probably going to test this uh, 76 and three quarters. Okay. OK, 
Okay, we need to see, there we go, okay. Why, why did I say that, you know? I mean, here we are, right, just a tick away from it. Um, and uh, just because, you, we're, you know, we read earlier these areas here, very little volume trading, okay? But now we're starting to see more volume trade here at 76, right? So now uh, we need to see, and we, we're, we'll wait and watch and uh, see if we can uh, trade above this uh, uh, 76 and a half uh, and start to accept up in this area here, okay? All right. Now, if we rotate lower, where are we going to rotate to? Okay. Looking at the uh, the auction, all right? I'm, I'm seeing the liquidity is down here between 74 and 74 and a half, okay? and that's where they're they're adding in. Okay. We'll probably see this guy here at uh, 75 and a quarter pop back in, right? And um, now we're starting to, you know, we see a little bit of a trend reversal. Let's draw that in, you know, something like that. And let's look at these areas here. Okay. Look at the exhaustion, a little bit of exhaustion down here. Okay, nice cluster here, but uh, one tick lower, no volume trading down here. Right? So if we come back down into that area, uh, I'm imagine we've exhausted here once uh, before. Uh, we'll probably see uh, uh, some covering, or uh, you know, maybe 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 we will see follow through. But uh, if it exhausted once, we'll probably see it um, uh, exhaust uh, yet again. Okay. That's why we're looking at some of these areas up here. Uh, and we see some volume trading, but uh, it's just not, not a lot. Okay. Another example would be, and I know this is microstructural, um, but um, uh, it, it still uh, um, demonstrates the, uh, the concept here. You know, some exhaustion down in these areas here. We trade back up, and we trade right back down, and there's still just very little selling here, right? More, look, at, look at them on the... Um, uh, aggressively uh, lifting the uh, offer instead. Okay. More volume trading up in these areas here. Okay. That's what led to this uh, uh, move that we we're looking for to test uh, the 76 and three quarters. And we still haven't tested it yet. Right? But uh, we're again a tick away here. Okay. All right, exhausted out again. Okay. Where are those aggressive buyers? Okay, we're seeing aggressive sellers hitting the bid here. Okay. So maybe we'll come down into, you know, just kind of this area here uh, where our line is at uh, 75 and a half. Uh, Parson, no, no Forex. Uh, Forex doesn't have a centralized limit order book. Uh, we can look at the uh, financial futures, though, if you want, that trades on the CME. Okay, so we got to swing down into our line right here. Okay, we were just talking about that. Okay, and there it is. And uh, let's see if we see continuation into uh, next level here, which would be uh, 74 and a half. Okay. Yeah, forex is over the counter, and uh, there's there's no uh, there's no limit order book. There's no liquidity that uh, or volume, okay, that we uh, uh, can can really uh, lean on. Yeah, I don't know if I have um, the dollar uh, futures uh, here. I mean, I can open up the euro dollar, um, uh, but the the issue, the issue is um, uh, in Bookmap. Uh, once you uh, open up the chart, you begin collecting your data. Okay, so you can see I opened this chart up over in this point here uh, on the on the far left uh, around uh, 8:53, and I've been collecting data since. Right, so I can't open it up, and I won't have historical data right away. And I'll, I'll show you. Okay, so let's just subscribe to uh, the six E. Okay, 
Okay, we should be on the M contract. Remember, today is rollover uh, as well, so we'll probably see a lot of back and forth. Okay, so this is what the uh, the 6E looks like, uh, and you can see I, I just opened up the chart. Okay, so I'm just collecting data right now, and this is what that looks like. Okay, quite a, quite a different market. I mean, the liquidity is in the uh, tens here, in, in the hundreds in some of these areas, uh, compared to the S&P. Uh, Parson, you will need a futures account, uh, and uh, there's, a, there's a couple things you can do. Um, if you uh, are a Forex spot trader uh, and you want to use Bookmap, uh, well, you can um, you know you can look at the 6E or the 6B or 6C or 6A or whatever uh, you know th that uh, trades in the futures market. Uh, there, there's a centralized limit order book. Uh, all the data is there. Uh, all the traded volume is there. You can utilize that and then look at your spot forex market to take your trades from. Okay. So basically what you would need then is you, you wouldn't necessarily need a, a futures account. You would just need a futures data feed and book map. Okay. Someone like DTNIQ, they, they offer that. Uh, and um, uh, Rhythmic, uh, CQG, I think you can just uh, get a data uh, subscription only. Oops. All right. Let's go back to the ES. What does that look like now? Oh, just right back and nothing. All right. All right. Well, in, any any more questions? Um, not not too much to go over today. Uh, we we were looking for that. Um, uh, starting to note, uh, you know, down in this area here or back here. Actually, we're starting to note that maybe the uh, the shift. Uh, and, and possibility in, uh, in order flow here, uh, as well as our level at 74. All right, so uh, that that gave us some nice uh, nice clues here uh, to this uh, uh, break of structure. Now, again, like you know, we're we're just we're just going sideways now, and we need to break this area here uh, and, and trade above this 76 and a half area. Okay, I want to see a nice sweep of the book. Uh, through that area, I want to see them aggressively lift the offer, uh, trade through this liquidity or have this liquidity pull, uh, and then trade on up maybe and, and we'll hit uh, some of these higher levels. Okay, uh, Immediately after this 76 and 3 quarters, it would be 77 and a half. 78 is starting to show a little bit of interest, Okay, but the uh, higher level was up here at uh, 80. Okay, Now that's historical though, there's 2,000 contracts up there. When price starts to come up into this area here, you'll probably see the uh, the book uh, refresh the data up here, and we'll see if these guys are still up here or not. All right. Okay. Just new to Bookmap, Parson. Yeah, no problem. Um, well, yeah, we're not a strategy. We're not an indicator. Uh, we're 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 a, a a trading platform that very objectively. Um, displays the uh, market data for you, okay? Um, so it's no, it's no, there's really no derivative of time and price and volume here, uh, like most uh, indicators. Uh, we do have an indicator panel now. This is new in our API, okay? You can look at the, uh, this is the CVD, which is the uh, cumulative volume delta. Uh, you can write your own uh, indicators now in this environment, as well as trading strategies. We also have trading strategies up here. Okay. It's uh, we have a chase, escape, and execute uh, trading strategy, and then here's your your settings for your cumulative volume delta. Okay. Uh, so what we're objectively showing here is the traded volume, okay, uh, and the liquidity here, historically and current. All right. So there's no there's no like setup here. Uh, it's up for you to uh, bring your trading methodology to the platform. Uh, we're displaying it that will help you very objectively confirm uh, your own trading setups and methods. Okay, because it, it is a, a quite a uh, uh, 
objective view of the marketplace here. We're showing you everything, right? We're not just showing the traded volume, which most platforms do. Yeah, Parsons, you you might have come in a little bit late. Um, I'm not going to review the um, the white areas again. Uh, this is high high liquidity, but um, uh, you can watch the recording. It'll, it'll be up in uh, in just uh, about um, maybe an hour or so. Okay. All right, guys. Well, let's call it a day. Uh, we'll wrap it up and call it a week as well. Um, uh, Chris, uh, what language uh, are the indicators written in? Yes, um, they are. Uh, yeah. Uh, Carson, why don't you, I mean, um, uh, Parson, why don't you um, uh, uh, reach out to me at support at VeloxPro and I'll follow up with you and uh, we can go, I can show you where the recorded webinars are, uh, uh, other videos to, to, to watch and, and whatnot, okay? So support at VeloxPro, here I'll, I'll type it into the chat so you have it. There you go. Okay, you can copy and paste that, uh, and then um, yeah, uh, you know, uh, get you get you going with the basics here. Uh, yes, uh, Chris and and Michael. Yes, uh, the API um, uh, for writing uh, trading strategies and for writing indicators uh, is in Java. Okay, and there is a GitHub um, a page uh, that you can go to and uh, and access all the resources there. All right. All right, guys. Yeah, let's call it a day. And uh, don't forget next week, a big week. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, we have the uh, professional uh, traders um, webinar series. So if you want to do that, um, you can uh, click here and register for it. In fact, let me send you the link here. I think I can just register for it. Uh, and maybe send you the link here. I, I can send you the link. Um, hold on just a minute here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the chat as well. So click on that link there, okay, and that will take you to the page for um, registering for next week's uh, webinars. Uh, and um, we have a, like uh, four or five different uh, professional traders and how they look at the order flow in Bookmap within the way that they trade. So, um, uh, Parson, if you're looking for uh, trade setups, then that is the one to watch, okay? They're going to go through how they trade. Okay. All right, guys. Yeah, take care and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Thanks, Carl. Yeah. Happy, happy St. Patrick's Day.